Snow Tracks is sponsored by Polaris, Think Outside, Yamaha, Revs Your Heart, FXR Racing, celebrating 25 years of speed, and by iPone Lubricants, exclusively distributed by Parts Canada. 2022 is a big year in our industry, and for BRP, it may be the biggest. With bigger horsepower, bigger performance accessories, and also a bigger North American market with the introduction of Lynx. The Lynx brand has long been talked about coming to North America, but up until now, that was just talk. However, for the 2022 season, you can put a deposit down at your BRP dealer to receive one of three Lynx sleds being imported across the sea. Whether this is just a pilot program and we'll see ramped up availability of Lynx sleds in the future, we really don't know. But what we do know is that if you want a Lynx for 2022, you better get to your dealer. Like right now. The excitement for this product is monumental. The buzz in the industry is tangible. And the product, well, from our testing of the Rave RE3500 we have had here on the snow for the past month, yeah, we love every little bit of it. Especially the aggressive trail rider who isn't held back by even the roughest of trails. Lynx will offer the Rave RE in 137-inch lengths, as well as the Boondocker DS model in two different track lengths. But again, these are only available as pre-order with a deposit. You're not going to get a Lynx in season next year. Along with increasing the number of manufacturers playing in the North American market, BRP also increased the horsepower coming out of the 900 turbo motor. While the all-new 900 Ace Turbo R will be available as an option in many 2022 Skidoo sleds, the big news is the Mach-Z which for 2022 makes a glorious return to the market in a fashion that suits its pumped up chess beating name. First things first, the engine. While we have loved the 900 Ace in all of its different variations, we haven't been so in love with the electronic throttle system. So this year, Skidoo completely changed ITC. What does that mean for the rider? Responsiveness that you can't get from a strictly electronic system. While the ITC throttle body is still electronic, it delivers a more linear and predictable throttle response that feels like a cable-driven throttle body, and the system still retains the shift on the fly drive features of Sport, Standard, and Eco. Another feature of equal excitement is the inclusion of a launch mode, where the engine is able to increase RPM to build up boost in the turbo system, and then essentially dump the clutch and deliver what Skidoo claims is like nothing else. So this is the technology that's behind the 900 Turbo R model, but what about the horsepower? For 2022, power goes up as well. The 150 horsepower version is no longer available. The options are 130 horsepower Turbo and the 180 horsepower Turbo R. Much like the designations on the Can-Am off-road side who use the same 900 Ace engine. The Turbo R features larger injectors, an optimized intake and exhaust track, as well as a heavier wastegate that allows this Turbo R to build up to an impressive 17.4 PSI. The motor mounts were redesigned to handle the increase in power, as was internal components of the P-Drive clutch. Now on the flip side, the 130 horsepower Turbo 900 builds 8.7 PSI and is four pounds lighter from the removal of the intercooler. It will use the standard ITC drive-by-wire system, however with larger injectors and a reworked intake and exhaust, the throttle is much more responsive. And as if that wasn't enough of a one-two punch, get ready for the knockout blow with a new technology called Smart Shocks, something you may recognize from the Can-Am brand. This new suspension system utilizes KYB electronic millisecond tuning of the shocks. Not only does the system allow you to adjust the suspension to one of three predefined settings of Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus, but it uses five chassis sensors and a main brain to compute the chassis dynamics and offer instantaneous adjustment to automatically account for pitch, roll, increased compression on landing, as well as reduced topping out when the skis leave the snow. This system isn't just a three-trick pony though. While you can adjust those three baseline settings and they'll give you a good standard setup, there's a whole lot more. The SmartShox system knows where the shocks are in their compression and rebound stroke. It knows where the snowmobile is going and where the force is coming into the chassis. With this information and your baseline three-position rocker switch setting picked, the controller will then tune on the fly, multiple times per second if required, both the compression and rebound of each of the shocks. It's the smartest suspension on snow and takes the guesswork out of tuning your shocks. No more stopping trail side and counting suspension clicks, no more wishing you could soften up the ride or likewise make it a bit stiffer when the trail gets whooped out. The change is a toggle switch away with continuous on the fly tuning. The 2022 season is a huge one for BRP, offering you a whole host of options to meet your specific needs. Add to that the new introduction of Lynx to North America 
and it proves that BRP is listening to the snowmobile market. Snow Tracks is brought to you by the regions of Quebec by the sea. Discover our ride ideas. For almost 15 years now, the responsibility of overseeing the Snowtrax Real World Sled of the Year evaluation process has fallen on my shoulders. And to be perfectly honest, it's not an easy task. To make sure we're picking a fair and honest winner, I need to sit down and talk to our extensive list of crew and test riders, find out what sleds they liked most and why, what features worked and which ones didn't, and ultimately, what sled they felt was their absolute favorite all season. One of the things we're most proud of here at Snowtracks is that our opinions are based on thousands of miles of riding each season. Not just a quick test ride in a field, not just a day or two on the trail. It's day after day after day, riding every sled we have back to back, analyzing and nitpicking each aspect of each sled. I know, it sounds really terrible, doesn't it? Of course, it's not. But what it means is at the end of a season, the opinions we've generated are based on a vast amount of hands-on experience. Determining the real world sled of the year for 2021 was the easiest it's ever been. Every one of our crew and test riders enthusiastically agreed on the winner. Which is why instead of going through a list of sleds and narrowing things down like I typically do, I'm just gonna announce the sled that won and give a bit of an explanation why. Before I get to that though, I do wanna list some of the standout sleds from this season. These are sleds that gained very high praise from our crew for very different reasons. And in no particular order, we have Skidoo's Backcountry XRS 850 E-Tech and the MXZ Sport 600 EFI, Yamaha's Viper LTX GT along with the SX Venom, which brought a new level of fun to our junior test riders. Arctic Cat's Ride 800 stands out as one of our favorite crossover sleds, and Polaris's Indy XC850 and Matrix Indy VR1 were constantly in high demand. These were the sleds that our crew and test riders wanted to ride day after day and had nothing but praise for. But as I said earlier, there was one that simply jumped out ahead of the rest. Polaris's Indy VR1 650 in either a 129 or 137 was a sled which constantly drew big praise. Every person who got off either of these sleds would go on and on about how great they were and how they'd happily lay down their own money for one. The Matrix-based VR1 650 perfectly blends what we feel are the most important aspects of a snowmobile. Ride quality, handling, comfort, and power. The front end is as close to snowmobile front end perfection as this industry has ever seen. Handling is incredibly precise and predictable, yet remains light and effortless. Front end ride quality is the best in the industry. The Patriot 650 is a powerhouse of a motor. Its bottom end and mid range has left more than a few of us wondering if any trail rider really needs an 850. It's also smooth at both idle and when you're on the throttle. Power delivery is linear and it's super efficient on both fuel and oil. Ergonomically, the Matrix platform is comfortable and requires the least amount of effort to ride, regardless of whether you're a novice rider or somebody more experienced who likes to ride fast. On top of all that, the comfort and convenience featured included in this package are beyond class leading. Integrated storage is huge with the behind the gauge and under seat locations. The Ride Command 7S display and smart warmers aren't just technology for the sake of technology. It's technology that makes every aspect of your riding experience better. The only part of the Matrix VR1 that isn't class leading is rear end ride quality. Our motion still offers the plushest ride while still maintaining excellent bottoming resistance. With that said, Polaris's Pro CC skid frame is a very close second. When asked if they'd be willing to give up the front end ride and handling of the Matrix in exchange for the slightly better ride quality of the R-Motion, not a single one of our testers said yes. Now, I do realize that I have just announced another Polaris as the Snowtrack's real world sled of the year, and I also recognize that this is definitely gonna ruffle a few feathers. But our responsibility has always been to simply tell the truth as we have experienced it so that you can have the most accurate and honest information possible when it comes time to make your next new sled purchase. For 2021, the Snowtrack's real world sled of the year evaluation process was the most decisive ever. Now there definitely were sleds from each manufacturer that we really liked and would be happy to ride all winter long. But there's no denying that the 2021 Polaris Matrix Indy VR1650 in either track configuration is at the top of everyone's list. This is evidenced by the fact that the three VR1s we had on the ground this season have a combined total of over 6,000 miles. 
Congratulations to Polaris on winning the 2021 Snowtrax TV Real World Sled of the Year Award with the Matrix-based Indy VR1 650. I can't believe that the time for Rad is already here. We've logged many miles this winter, and we do have a winner for the Revolutionary Advanced Design Award, or Rad as we like to call it. We strive to not pick unproven technology that hasn't had the chance to be tested for an entire season. And this year, we pushed this new technology through its paces on multiple sleds, and everyone who used it came away with nothing but praise. The Polaris PID display was a great step forwards in gauge technology. However, with the release of the 7S display, as well as the integration of the Ride Command app, Polaris has taken it to a whole new level. Not only did the full color and large 7S display become lightning fast at switching between GPS, engine diagnostics, or pertinent information about your trip, it also offers complete access, allowing you to customize your gauge the way that you like it. Add to this the inclusion of smart warmers with the on-screen thermostatically set hand and thumb heat, along with the ability to track riders in your group with Ride Command, and you have a powerful info package right at your fingertips. The touchscreen is responsive and precise even with gloves. The buttons and jog dial on the gauge offer even more precision, and the switch gear on the handlebars allow you to toggle on-screen displays for a hat trick of ways to interact with this gauge. The Polaris 7S Ride Command display delivers information to the rider in a way that's not distracting from the spirit of snowmobiling and gives those who seek this level of technology everything that they could ask for. And it's for this reason and many more that we award Polaris's 7S Ride Command display the 2021 Snowtrax Rad Award. Trail Tech is sponsored by Princess Auto. Make it work. While snow removal is important throughout the entire winter season, late season snow removal can carry with it the added importance of trying to get rid of all that snow from around the foundation of your house or your garage when the days get longer and the sun starts peeking out. We test a lot of plow systems here at Snow Tracks, and we've put many of them through their bases. Kimpex offers a wide variety of options for you to equip your ATV or side-by-side -side with a plow in plastic or steel blades in multiple widths, standard or extended push frames to work with wheels or track systems, and a multitude of universal and vehicle-specific mounts Then they even offer accessories from winch mounts to winches themselves to be able to equip your vehicle with a high-quality, quick-to-install-and-remove plow that'll get the job done from first snowfall all the way to spring cleanup and the last bit of slush. Our Ranger is equipped for the most demanding jobs and it comes from the factory with a winch already pre-installed, so we wanted to go ahead and equip it with a Kimpex Click & Go 2 72-inch wide plow and push frame. Now I've shown you the Click & Go system many times over the years, but we keep on showing you because we believe in the product. A rig like this Ranger Northstar is built to plow and will benefit from this system especially now that the snow is starting to melt and we need to make sure to clean up and keep any water from trying to get into the buildings around our shop. The hardened steel cutting edge is strong and allows us to dig down as far as the adjustable feet will let us, which at this time of the season will be low to try to scrape down to the dirt and pavement, making way for the sun to do its job. Now, along with the plow, I wanted to make sure that I was getting maximum traction as well as installing something for a little bit of springtime fun. While the stock tires on our Ranger are still in good shape, yours might not be. And a great option for all-around traction in snow, mud, or hard-packed terrain is the Trail Trooper from Kimpex. It's a very price-friendly tire that delivers big-time performance and comes in a wide variety of sizes. But for our Ranger, I opted for the 29-inch overall height to match the stock, with a 9-inch width in the front and an 11-inch width in the rear. Most tire sizes are available in 12 or 14-inch rim options to fit your factory rims, but I prefer to add some style as well, so working with Super ATV through Kimpex, we were able to mount up our Trail Troopers to a very nice set of wheels as well. One of the really nice features about these H-Series Bandit rims from Super ATV is that they toss in two different set of wheel lugs depending on what your stud pattern is on your bike. That's pretty fancy because most aftermarket rim companies don't even provide you with one set. These are a really sturdy rim and add big time style to our Ranger with a more aggressive stance and just better overall looks. The price is right at around 85 bucks American and just over 100 bucks Canadian with the center caps and both sets of lugs. 
And as always, Super ATV stands behind their products with a one-year warranty. Now, before I go and clean up the driveway, I have one more accessory that'll make your Polaris upgrades even easier to install, and I couldn't help but take just a second and tell you about it. Since Polaris brought out the Pulse Bus Bar Easy Plug-In System, we've been waiting for someone to make an aftermarket plug to pull power, and Super ATV has done just that. This little connector allows you to grab positive, negative, and accessory without any complicated cutting or splicing under the dash. It'll make your stereo, lights, or any electrical accessory install a total breeze, and it means that you don't need to splice or tape under the dash. It's clean, it's quick, and this little plug only costs about 25 bucks American. Well, that's about it for gearing up this Ranger. The winter's winding down, and I guess it's about time for me to quit chatting and go clean up what's left of winter. Over the past three to four seasons, Arctic Cat has been slowly but steadily improving their lineup. We're seeing new ideas and new features year after year. And this is again the theme of Arctic Cat's 2022 lineup of sleds. Many of their most popular models return unchanged, but a few of them get some significant upgrades aimed at making the customer's riding experience even better. I want to start by talking about the Blast lineup. Last season, Articat introduced the industry's first three-quarter size snowmobile powered by a 400cc single-cylinder semi-direct injected two-stroke that makes about 65 horsepower. This new platform combined with the new motor was a home run right from the start, filling a gap in the market that had gone unaddressed until now. For 2022, the Blast lineup is expanding. Returning are the Blast CR, Blast M, and the Blast LT models, but they're joined by a new Blast XR crossover and XR Touring. While these two new models do share the XR moniker, they include some specs and features that set them very much apart. The skid frame for both is described by Articat as a 146-inch dual shock slide rail design with adjustable torsion springs that produces 12.5 inches of travel. The Touring model includes additional helper springs as well. The crossover model gets a 1.6-inch lug Cobra, while the Touring model gets a 1.25 lug Ripsaw. The front end features the same double A-arm design, but the crossover is adjustable from 37.5 to 38.5 inches, where the Touring model is adjustable from 39.5 to 40.5 inches. The Touring model also includes a sway bar. Obviously, the XR crossover gets a single seat, where the XR Touring gets a two-up seat. So while they do share a number of parts, they are very different snowmobiles. For 2022, the industry's most powerful snowmobile, the Thundercat, is back with one major upgrade, power steering. Aimed specifically at making this sled easier and more pleasurable to ride, Arctic's power steering system is speed sensitive, which means as your speeds increase, the assist level decreases. The Thundercat also features Arctic's awesome ATAC remotely adjustable suspension. This is a feature we at Snowtracks feel offers very real and very effective benefits for the rider. While these features are definitely worth the price increase, for those that don't want any extra electronics or are more price conscious, the Thundercat is also offered in a more basic model without all the bling. The Riot and Riot X models remain unchanged for 2022 except for one important option. Both are now available with Arctic's ATAC remotely adjustable suspension, which, as I just said, is more than worth the price. All of Arctic's 6,000, 8,000, and 9,000 models now come equipped with Arctic Cat's new in-house designed Adapt clutches. These new clutches have been designed from the ground up by Arctic Cat engineers to be slimmer, lighter, and maintain more consistent belt tension from the start of the ride to the very end. For the high altitude guys, Arctic Cat is now offering a new 146 inch hardcore model that should be more than a little bit playful when the snow is really deep. Its 2.6 inch lugs are reinforced and a 2.82 pitch offers a lug pattern that promises improved traction in a wide variety of conditions. It also comes standard with Fox 1.50 QS3 shocks for easy adjustability and varying terrain. 
This was just a high level overview of what's new from Articat for 2022. While the changes may not seem huge, they are all focused on making already great sleds more comfortable, more capable, and perform even better than they did last season. Snow Tracks has been sponsored by MBRP Performance Exhaust, built for the Victory Lab, and by Arcticat Snowmobiles.